Hello. Hello, James. Yes. Hey, uh, this is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I got it, Barbara. Yeah, come on, Barbara. Jeez. Yeah, what do you want, Dave? Oh, hey, uh, well, I'm just calling because we had a complaint from one of the neighbors that lives over on Pelican. And um, they had someone did a snow angel in their front yard. And it turns out that the snow angel is in the shape of your body. So they know that you did it. So do, we're like, um, why are we doing that? Why are we making snow angels in other people's yards? Me? I have never been in anybody else's yard. I wouldn't do things like that. Well, no, over on Pelican Drive. They live over on Pelican. They're your neighbor. So, no, I don't live on Pelican. I know that. I know where you live. I'm saying they're in the same neighborhood here, the same homeowners association, and you've been going over into their yard and making snow angels, like three of them now, and it's freaking... I've been going, in, I've been going over to their yard. Oh, so you admit it then. Yeah, and, and making snow angels. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. You, you know what a snow angel is, right? Where you get down on the ground and you wave your arms around all crazy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, um, You've been doing that in over in William and Karen's yard over on Pelican. And they, they want you to... They, they just want you to stop. Could you not do that anymore? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Hold, let me put my wife on, okay? Okay. I, I have no idea what you're talking I have never done anything like that. You've never made a snow angel? No, because you, you you know you seem to know what they were. Hold on a minute. Okay. Barbara, I've never. Hello. Uh, hello, Barbara. Yes. Hi, it's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Oh. And uh, I'm I'm yeah. calling because there we've had some complaints from William and Karen over on Pelican Drive. Uh, your husband's g been going over there and making snow angels in their yard. And and could you just, can you just ask him to stop? I think you're whacked out. Whacked out? What does that mean? Cactus. Are you blowing smoke up my ass, buddy? What's going on here? Cactus. 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 You've got to be crap on my balls. Cactus. 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 At 12 o'clock midnight, fuck you! Cactus! Cactus this cocksucker. How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus! Hey there, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. This is episode 523. It's the first show of 2019. It's January 3rd. This one's brought to you by ICU Tocus Pocus. Fun Society Arcade, Jason B. and Carol Gertie, 666. Those are the people supporting today's show on the Patreon or wherever else. And we also have some new supporters that's happened in the past week or so, like Colin W. and Aaron S. and Ook, Crazy, Benjamin S., Derek B., Lauren W. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the show. Usually, you'd get extra shows. This week, it's more like you're getting negative shows. Because I've been sick for the past five days now. I think it's been five days, right? Since Saturday. And I managed to put out a hobo sode a couple days ago. And it was the 10th hobo sode, which is free for everyone. Every 10th hobo sode can be listened to by even the non-Patreon supporter people. You can find that over at phonelosers.com. Hobo sode number 150. I'm up to 150 now. I think most of those were done this past year. I can't remember exactly when hobo sodes started. I think it's the end of 2016. I have my show notes here. I'm, I'm pretty sure I talked about this in the last show. I must have, right? I did a, a Riley PLA call-in show, you know, with Riley Lux or Riley Mix, whatever. And then there was another PLA show. It's called Walker Vision. That one was me and not Biggs. Those are also on the PLA website. I'm deleting that now. I think I said that last time, though. I'm confused about what happened on the last show since I've been couch ridden for the past week. And I didn't do a call-in show yesterday. I've been trying to do them every Wednesday. I didn't do one last week just for no reason. And yesterday I was just feeling too crappy still. But next Wednesday, new call-in show. I promise. Maybe. I don't know. It's not like I'm trying to start a schedule with that or anything. Uh, also, there's a new Wonderful World of Prank Calls. You know, the Mr. Dobelina show over at worldofprankcalls.com. And that would be the one with the shoe store customers from 2015. That one was kind of a fun show. I found a lot of really good old shoe calls in there from when I called up shoe store customers. And there's even a brand new intro song by Carol on the World of Prank Calls show. 
So be sure to go listen to that. I think that's probably just it for the announcements. Let's try and do a show. See if I can do a show today. Right. Um, you make the call. I'm not making the call. You make the call. Fine. You mean the number. Okay, okay. Make we'll the call. Number. And Baker. Five 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 seven six seven six two zero oh, two zero. Oh. Hello. Hi. Who's this? A secret admirer. Oh, you are, huh? I saw you on the street the other day. Oh yeah. Maybe we could get together. Well, I'll have to call you back. Oh, uh, I didn't give out my number. Oh, that's okay. I've got it already. Five 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 three two nine eight. By the way, is your mother there? To get Bell Atlantic caller ID, call one eight hundred two three seven four nine hundred now. Today, I'm going to attempt a prank. That's uh, I, I really have serious doubts that any, anything's going to come of it. It's kind of a ridiculous idea, and I meant to do this yesterday, but then I started feeling crappy again, and I just gave up, lay down on the couch, and watched television some more. Uh, I posted this thing on Facebook, on the PLA Facebook group that says, if you were the president of the HOA and you decided to convert the entire neighborhood into a sovereign nation, what are the important things residents should do to get prepared? And my suggestion was that they need to get their photos taken for their new driver's license and birth certificates, and they'd have to register for the draft, you know, in case we go to war with the United States that we're no longer a part of. So at this point, there are 140 responses to this. And they're pretty much all hilarious. I had to stop reading yesterday because my body's like in pain right now. Or it was yesterday. It's not so bad today. But all of these comments were making me laugh. And it was very painful to laugh. Uh, Beckley Cracker says everyone needs to turn in their house keys so that the other residents' right to travel isn't impeded by potentially locked doors. John says they need to hand in their passports and that they have a new 13-digit postcode. Justin says the mail will be screened and censored, both incoming and outgoing. And they need to have those wheelchair ramps, right? We're not a bunch of jerks like the U.S. Don't even require wheelchair ramps. Security cameras being installed inside all the houses until things calm down. That's from Kyle. Roy Bacon says design a new flag. Victor says sacrifice their homes for the Army's HQ. Maybe we could just say we're putting up a shed in their backyard for a weapons cache. Or taking over their garage for that. No, I probably shouldn't say anything about weapons. Or someone will say these calls are terrorist threats. We're independent from the city's utilities. Everyone will need to dig a well for water, a septic tank, and install solar panels all by themselves. That's from Dino. Andrew says, probably money to build a wall. Megan says, pin has to be pronounced as pin. Not sure if I did that right or not. Anyway, I can't read all of these. I'm just going to start calling people and scrolling all over the list and using the ideas in the list. I'll probably miss a bunch of them. So I'm sorry if I missed your idea. It won't let me sort by the top comments, which kind of sucks, because that'd be nice to do the ideas with the most votes. I should have made this a poll. Hello. Oh, hey, Carol. Uh, it's the Homeowners Association here. Hi, um, how are you? Pretty good. I needed to let you know we're going to be uh, converting the entire neighborhood into a sovereign nation. Excellent. So <laughs> uh, we need a list of all the books that you have in your home. Oh, Lordy. Yeah, just uh, yeah, just every book that you have. You're just, kidding, right? No, of course not. No, just the a list. Uh, it can be handwritten, or you can you know print it out, or whatever. Just a list of the titles of every single book you have in your home. You know, I probably have hundreds. Yeah, yeah, we understand that. A lot of people do. Some people <laughs> have. Some people have more than that. Some people might see you're not even that much of a reader, really. Well, if you take the three homes that I have mm -hmm. and I, all the books I have in them, I could be a veritable library. Yeah. Okay. But I, I would do you said, it. You said just hundred. Not a joke, right? Oh, no, it's not a joke. Just uh, list, right, just write down all of the books that you have in your entire house. Uh, we're going to be mailing out a, a new um, a pamphlet just detailing all the rules. Like if you have an American flag up, you need to take that down. Um, but what does that have to do with the books in my home? Oh, the, uh, they're t like this isn't for sure, but we're talking about um, just not allowing certain books in in the <laughs> in the neighborhood. But, okay, um, what's the joke? Oh no, there's no joke. We're converting the entire neighborhood into a sovereign nation. You basically won't even be a part of the United States anymore. We're going to be uh, like, like a, that's going to work. 
Oh no, it's gonna work. It, it's it's pretty much a done deal. Oh <laughs> yeah, okay. There, there's some of us here that have been sovereign citizens for years now, but now we're just gonna convert the entire neighborhood and basically have our own little country here. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna need to take you're gonna need to take down all your American flags, and you know any political signs that you may have up there. Trump's not gonna be your president anymore anymore. There's going to be a mandatory community work program. It's got to be political. We must be talking about the Democrats. No, no. There, there is no Democrats, no Republicans anymore. We're a sovereign nation. Well, I'm going to have to think about this a minute. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, there's nothing to think about. Uh, if you live here, you're going to become a part of the sovereign nation. Um, you're going you're gonna to need to come into the office soon and uh, have your picture taken for your new ID card. Why don't and, you just do that tonight when everybody goes to the meeting? Yeah, yeah, we, we're going to be doing that tonight. Um, All right, well, thanks for the info. Make sure you bring your driver's license with you because you'll need to surrender that since you're no longer a U.S. citizen. All right, going great so far. She was totally believing it, I think. That's weird how amused she was by the whole thing. And that's probably going to be the response for everyone. No one's going to believe this. And I don't even know how to give credit here because I'm just scrolling up and down the list on Facebook. I've opened up all of the ideas. Uh, like the weekly book burning, that was Rob's idea. That's where I was going with the you know list of books. Kyle says if they have U.S. flags, they have to be taken down. Mandatory community work program by Christopher. I wonder if there's anything about martial law in here. We need something about martial law. And Carol said there's a meeting tonight, so maybe I can put that into these calls. And crap, that means I need to use up this list today because they're going to be talking about these calls tonight. Whoever's speaking at the meeting is going to be, can I have your attention? I need everyone to know that we are not becoming a sovereign nation. That was just a prank caller. We're going to figure out who that is. We think it's Ed over on Pelican Drive. We have our suspicions. Hey there, is this, is this Root? Um, no, this is, um, Jack's daughter. Oh, okay. Well, th this is, uh, Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Hi there. Hey, are, are you guys all coming to the meeting tonight? Um, my dad is. My mom passed away. Oh, so okay. My dad is coming. Sorry to hear that. Um, hey, I, I just needed to let you know, uh, we're converting the entire neighborhood into a sovereign nation. Oh, well, my dad's going to the meeting tonight, so he'll get whatever information you're gonna or are you telling me something different that's not going to be at the meeting oh no it's going to be at the meeting just um tell him okay. to, tell him to bring his birth certificate and his driver's license he's going to have to surrender those and we're going to make him new ones what you know <laughs> because we're going to be a sovereign nation we're going to be uh you know separate from the united states oh no he's not oh no absolutely he is it's a it's a new thing we're doing we're just converting the entire neighborhood there's going to be a lot of changes around here so to live in this neighborhood, you have to not be a mem not be a citizen of the United States. Correct. It's it's not a big deal. So there's, there's a lot of HOAs doing this now. Um. Okay, I might have to go to that meeting as well. Um, yeah, bring your uh, driver's license with you and your. No, first no, no, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, I don't live here and, and wouldn't live here. Oh, okay. I, will, I will not do that. That is absolutely not going to happen. Okay. Well, if you don't um, live here, you're. Yeah, I need. To, yeah. Um, Oh well, I don't, I don't, I don't want to let him do it either. Well, it's not up. Um, it's not up to you. It's he, he's his own person. Well, he would move. You're gonna, you're gonna. The, uh, uh. There's no way. Sorry, I can't imagine that's legal. Oh no, it's completely legal because uh, we make the laws. It's our own country. <laughs> okay, so, my dad would like to talk to you, and I'll. It'll be interesting to see what he says. Oh, okay. Somebody from the homeowners. They want a US Hello. Hey there, it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes. You're, you're, what, what's your daughter going on about there in the background? I can hear her talking to someone. I, I don't know. They're, she's from California. Oh, that explains <laughs> but are it. You, who are you, where are you calling from? I'm at the clubhouse. You're coming to the meeting tonight? Yes, I am. Sure oh, am. Okay, great. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know to uh, bring your birth certificate and your driver's license with you. 
Oh my God, birth certificate. Yeah, well, if you can find it, you know, we can do that I later on down the road. Know. If you it, ah, that could be up in Minnesota for all I know, because I I keep a different couple places. Okay, well, uh, dri- I do have my driver's license. Yeah, driver's license is fine. Maybe your social security card. You're not going to need that anymore. Why not? Uh, we're we're um converting. The, did you get the thing in the mail we sent? It's uh, we're converting the neighborhood into a sovereign nation. My social security. I just got a brand new one today. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you won't. You wasted your time on that because you're not going to need it anymore. Why we're, is that? We're converting the entire neighborhood into a sovereign nation. We're not going to use. Well, what would that have to do with my social security number? Well, you won't. You mean that whatever is in thing is going to become a dictatorship? Is that what you're saying? Well, not a dictatorship. We're we're, we're going to have. What is it? No, we're going to. What have, is it? We're going to have votes and everything here at the clubhouse. But um, you're just not going to use, we're not going to use social security numbers. They're not even secure anyway. Everyone steals those. You know how it is. What is your name? I never heard of you. Are you a member? Are you, are you in our association? Yeah, of course. This is Steve Dave. Uh, I work. Yeah, I've, Who is I've, it? This is Steve Dave. I, I work directly under. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to be there tonight. So. Okay, just bring your... I think, uh, you're li- I think you're a little off base myself, but that's all right. Oh, no, no. We, I know what I'm no, talking about. I know about. what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, <laughs> I wanted to hear the daughter go on and on in the background. Here, let me call him right back. Hello? Uh, he hung up on me before I could finish. I also wanted to tell him to bring a little bit of cash with him because we're going to be... This cast- is not happening. This is not happening. He's not bringing any of that. This is not happening. We're coming to the meeting tonight. To find out information, he, it is this is not happening. Too happening. So, Check your mail. We sent a letter out. And, well, and, then, then he's moving. And, and, it, and you, you can't talk to <laughs> someone going, like me like that anymore. I'm, I'm sorry. N- nobody else here, that all his, none of his other neighbors have said anything. Well, they, they, maybe they ignored the letter. I don't know. But it'll be at the meeting tonight. You'll see. Yeah. Well, I will see, because now I'm coming to the meeting. I hope you come. Happening. I'll call you an idiot for not believing me. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't believe you. I believe yes, that you, you think you're doing this and everybody's doing it, but I'm saying my dad is not doing it. So Okay, he's um, going to have to move then. We, oh, we don't gosh, wouldn't want, that be terrible? Yeah, we don't want okay. someone like him around anyway if he's not going to support what we're doing. So, I, But my question is, so if you're a sovereign nation, if he gives up his citizenship, what about his Social Security benefits? What about Medicare? That's all gone? We're going to take care of everything. You don't have to worry about it. Like, we're, we're, we're going to be how, basic. How, where, where you get the money to We're going to be a it. cashless society. Money doesn't matter in our nation. <gasps> oh, okay. I look forward to meeting you tonight. I really want to go to this meeting tonight. I wish they were streamed meetings or something. Here, let me look on their website. Do they stream their meetings? That would be amazing. Oh my god, they have annual meeting documents. Meeting agenda, meeting minutes, and it's up to date. There's Octobers. Oh my god, this is going to be great. Oh shit. Okay, anyway, let's get back to the calls. That guy, he's calling up all his neighbors now. Hey, have you heard about this? That's so awesome. Hello? Hello, Dave? Yes. It's Steve from the Homeowners Association? Yes. I, I'm just calling to let you know. Um, well, first of all, are you going to be at the meeting tonight? Yes. Okay, and, and you know we're converting into a sovereign nation, right? Converting the neighborhood? You're converting the what? We're converting the entire neighborhood into a sovereign nation. You are. Yeah, separate from <laughs> the, the United States of America. Isn't that interesting? Yep. So um, you need to bring your driver's license, and if you have it, your birth certificate. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! No, no, not at all. And um, I don't know if they sent you a letter yet, but uh, you know your front lawn. Ah, damn it! This is great, though. Everyone knows about the meeting. Please hold while we direct your call. the hell is this? Hello. Please leave a message. Hello. Hello, Carlene? Yes. Hey there. It's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. 
Hi. Hi, how you doing? We're doing good. That's good. Um, I needed to let you know, um, like you've heard about the, we're converting the neighborhood into a sovereign nation, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm for that. <laughs> okay, oh. well, no, I'm, I'm completely, yeah. I'm serious. You, we sent out a letter. Are you coming to the meeting uh, tonight? Yeah, yes, we are. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk yeah. about that more at the meeting tonight. Um, I just okay. wanted to let you know, we, we went ahead and got things all squared away with the phone company. And any calls you make outside of the neighborhood from now on are considered inter international rates. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. So if you call outside of the neighborhood, it's going to be like $15 a minute or something. Uh, is that effective right now? Yeah. Yeah. It started this morning. So hopefully you haven't made oh. any calls. Oh, I think I have. Uh, oh, dear. Yep. <laughs> no, we'll oh. definitely be there tonight. Okay. Can you tell that okay. clock clock in the background to shut the fuck up? Yeah, yeah right. It's really irritating. <laughs> okay, thank uh, um, you. Hey, we're going to be digging up your yard tomorrow. Why? Uh, we're going to be using it for uh, crops. Crops? Oh. Yeah, huh. because we have what to grow... crops? We're going to grow our own food so we have exports into the United States. Oh, oh. Huh. Have you guys lost your bloody minds? No, why? What what you want us to be a poor country? We need to have exports. <laughs> right, right. Oh. Okay, well, um we'll be here. Okay, all right. We'll see you at the meeting tonight and please leave your condescending voice at home. Okay. Right. <laughs> all right. Bye. You, that's you're still doing it. Okay, bye. Bye. Well, she was awesome. Mark on the Facebook had this idea, deposit, we need a deposit before calls can be made outside of the, the neighborhood, since they are now international calls. I should tell people they have a new area code. That's what I'm going to do on this next one. I'm going to say I'm with the phone company, and they have one of those new 13-digit 13, 13 area codes. Oh man, who's their phone company? I need to look that up. Ah, crap. You know what I've noticed lately is when you put a phone number into one of these directories like whitepages.com or 411.com, I'm trying that one now, it doesn't tell you who the carrier is anymore. Used to it would tell you that. Oh wait, no, there it is. I have to click on a little arrow thing. It's CenturyLink. Ken speaking. Hey Ken, this is Steve Dave from CenturyLink, the phone company. Mm-hmm. And I'm calling to let you know that we've changed your area code today. You have one of those new area codes. Uh, it used to be but now it's going to be something new. Um, did you want that new area code, or do you know it already? Well, uh, I don't understand how you changed the area code. Oh, uh, I'm not with uh, I'm not with CenturyLink any longer. Well, yeah, but we still run the lines in that area. So anyone you're with, um, it it essentially it's us. You know, even with your, if you're with the cable company or a self cell provider or whatever, they all lease the lines from us. But um, everyone, okay, so, everyone in your neighborhood there, at, you know, with the homeowners association, they're all getting new area codes, just in that neighborhood only. Okay, so our new area code won't be. Correct. Yeah, it's a new one. Do you want that new one? I guess I'd better have it. Okay, it's. Uh, Far away. It's nine one two three eight five. It's one of those new six digit area codes. Nine one two three six five. Yep, three six five. And be careful, don't accident accidentally dial nine one one. It's nine one two, not nine one one. Okay, nine one two three six five. Yep. So in other words, I would be using that in anything. Yeah, yeah, anything outside of your neighborhood. If you're dialing, if you're dialing anyone inside your neighborhood, it's just a local number. But outside your neighborhood, it's going to be international rates. Very expensive. That's a rip -off. Yeah, it's That's it, a rip off. Well, it's because of the the homeowners association. You know, they're converting your neighborhood into a sovereign nation, right? Well, they think they are. Oh no, they are. They said there's a meeting about it tonight. That's that's what the someone from the clubhouse called, and they arranged all this with us. So they're the ones that arranged this six-digit code. 
Yeah, yeah, because you're an international, you're like your own country now. You're an inter, you're a sovereign nation. You're outside of the United States. You live in your own little... So in, what? So in other words, if I call, say, to Kansas City, I'm now being charged long distance. Yeah, well, more than long distance. It's international rates. It's probably going to be something like 3 or $4 a minute. And this is being done by homeowners association. Yep, yep, by homeowners association. They'll probably give you a new rate card tonight and let you know how much it's going to be to call outside of the neighborhood. So, in other words, if I if I call to even uh, say down to am I is that's long distance? Oh yeah, yeah. Anything that's not in the immediate neighborhood, that owned by the homeowners association. They've not told us anything about this. Oh, are you going to that meeting tonight? I hadn't planned on it. Oh, you might want to do that. Um, they're, they're supposed to be, uh, you know, passing out new ID cards, like state ID cards and everything. And where's the, me- where's the meeting held? Uh, they say it's at something called the clubhouse. I'm not from around there, so I don't know. But uh, it's a, it's, there's a meeting tonight. It's all about the new sovereign nation that you're going to be a part of. Like, you're no longer under President Trump. You're under your own, you know, whoever the president of the HOA is there. That's a bunch of crap. Yeah, I'm glad I don't live there. That'd, that'd, be, uh, that'd be so annoying to have to dial international just to call my parents. Can anything be done about this? Oh, I don't or know. A- I, I'm no lawyer. I don't know how all this stuff works. I just... That's just what they told me when I was setting all this up with your new six-digit area code. I, I guess. And what time? What time is the meeting? Do you know? Oh man, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know offhand. They they just said this evening is is what uh, Penny told me. Okay, I'm gonna find out. Thanks much. Oh yeah, no problem. I don't like this at all. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't either. It's pr- pretty crazy. Do they usually do stuff like this with the? homeowners association no because she's telling me about all these changes like they're going to be uh they're going to be um like using people's lawns to grow crops in and you're going to have to submit a list of all the books in your home and dna (laughs) cheek swabs and um you're you're gonna have to surrender your u.s driver's license because you're no longer a citizen you have to get a passport if you want to leave the neighbor neighborhood Okay, thanks much. I'll call and find out what the hell is uh, going on here. Talk about this. Okay, all right. I'll. Uh, you have a nice day, sir. All right. Thanks much. Goodbye. <laughs> I can't believe people are buying this. I was really not expecting anyone to believe this. Hello? Hello? Jean? Yes. Hey, it's uh, Steve Day from the Homeowners Association. Oh, yes. Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. That's good to hear. Um, I, I just, uh, like, are you coming to the meeting tonight? We're having a... Yes, absolutely. Okay, yes. great. And have you heard about we're uh, converting the entire neighborhood into a sovereign nation? No, I haven't. Sounds oh, okay. like a good idea. Yeah, yep. Um, we're going to need you to, uh, if you can, just bring a list of the inventory of your entire house. Just a list of everything in your house, like everything, like all your furniture, all your independent Why art. Why would I do that? That's uh, just something we're doing. We're it's like here at the Hall of Records. We're calling the clubhouse the Hall of Records now. Yeah. And um, we just need a list. Of... I mean, are you joking? Is this a joke or what? Oh, <laughs> oh I'm sorry. Uh, I'm still sick. Uh, no, I wouldn't kid about this. Um, we just need a, a list of, you know, like every book in your house, every CD and cassette There's tape. There's no way I can do that to, by tonight. I'm coming down there at 5 because I'm going to help with the petitions at the door. Oh, what kind of petitions oh. are you helping with? The petitions for, I, you know, I don't even know who you, what you're talking about, really. Oh, yeah, we're doing the sovereign nation thing. The, the entire neighborhood is going to be its own country. Are you going to be at the clubhouse tonight? Yeah, yep. This is Steve Dave. I'll see you there tonight at 5. Okay, I'll see you. 
I'll see you down there then. Okay. Then you can explain it more. But okay. Yeah, really, um, you, we sent a letter out. You should have known about this already to bring no, a list. No, we haven't heard, any, I haven't heard anything we, about that. We, we need an inventory of everything in your home. Just well, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this in the ne that in the next hour. I have my dinner, so that's not going to happen tonight. Uh, okay. Yep. What did you say your name was? Uh, this is Steve Dave. Steve Days? Yeah. Steve Days. I'm Eric Days' brother. Okay. Whose brother? Eric. Eric Days. I don't know who that is either. Oh. All right. Everybody knows Thank Eric. Thank you. All right. Bye. Love you. Love you. Man, this meeting is huge. And I guess it starts in um, one hour and 45 minutes. I don't have much longer. I'm like, I'm halfway through the list. I'd say maybe, um, well, not even half of the people have answered. So I think this whole list is going to be useless after about another hour and a half. But it's okay. We're gonna. I'm going to do this in a different neighborhood. Maybe, you know, next week or something. This might be a fun live show to do. Hello? Hello, Cecilia? Yeah? It's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are you coming to the meeting tonight? No. Okay. No. Um, that's okay. Uh, you know we're converting the entire neighborhood into its own, into a sovereign nation, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. We're just, like, by this time next week, we're going to need an inventory of all the food in your house. Are you serious? Yeah. Yep, it's for our records. And, okay. Yeah, just all the food that's in your house and, and uh, you know, just... Maybe an average of what you usually have in there. It's just in case there's food shortages because uh, you're not going to be able to shop at regular grocery stores outside the neighborhood anymore. We're going to be growing up. Do, you know Do you know something we don't know? <laughs> oh, no. We're just we're going to be a sovereign nation. We're going to be outside of the United States. We're going to be building uh, up a wall around the entire neighborhood. They, okay. They, I hope you're kidding me. Oh, no. I wouldn't kid about this. Really? And who's going to fund this? Uh, well, we all are. We're all going to pitch in. It's uh, your HOA fees and, you know, property taxes. You're going to be paying your property taxes to us from now on. Okay. <laughs> okay. But okay. We're build, okay. building up a wall. Um, uh, eventually, uh, U.S. money is not going to work here in the neighborhood anymore. Okay. Okay. You're, you're going to have to convert it over to bucks. Oh, okay, so okay. We call them, okay. We call them HOA bucks. Okay. And we're gonna, so you're gonna try and push an HOA around here, right? We're gonna try and what? You're gonna put try and push an HOA in this in this area? Well, you're with the HOA already. Okay, I'm not really following you. I don't know if you're screwing with me or what, but oh no, I, uh, no, we're not. We're not going to the meeting tonight. So okay. Well, what do you mean you're not with an HOA? Like you're you're already with the HOA. That means you're, okay. you're a part of our sovereign nation. Okay. All right. Thanks for calling. Okay. Well, what are you being all weird about it for? Okay. Thanks for calling, okay? Well, why didn't you answer my question? What was her problem? <laughs> Here's one that from uh, Tanner. Just call them, <laughs> call them up and say you're deporting them. I, I should have said that to that first guy, you know, the guy with the daughter. He's like, yeah, we'll deport his ass to America. <laughs> Mark wants me to prohibit cannibalism. That's a good rule to have. James wants the government to be socialized. All bank account will be combined, and you need a you need a list of skills that you can perform for your job assignment. Oh man, people that have jobs, they're gonna have to get work visas to leave the neighborhood. You know what I want to do? I want to call up the just someone in the neighborhood tonight, like late tonight, and just ask them how the meeting went. <laughs> Be like, did you hear about all that crazy sovereign citizen stuff? Hello. Hello, Susan. Yes. It's uh, it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes. Are uh -huh. Are you coming to the meeting tonight by chance? Yes, my sister and I are coming. Okay, that's good to hear. Um, well, bring your singing voices because we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're gonna be singing the brand new national anthem. That we've created. Oh. Okay. We're, we're, we're gonna be. I don't know if my voice is any good anymore, but okay. 
Okay, that's good. Yeah, we're going to be singing it at the break of dawn every morning. We're going to have loudspeakers around the neighborhood. But tonight, oh. tonight's going to be practice. Okay. And um, you're going to need to bring, um, can you list out all of your skills that you can perform so we can make, uh, give you a job assignment for the neighborhood? Well, I can't get around much anymore other than driving, so... Uh, oh, that, that, that'd be good, because we could use someone to just drive around and patrol the neighborhood and, and look for, uh, you know, people causing problems in the neighborhood. Well, I'll think about it, you, but... You could be part of our security patrol. Well, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Everyone's got to contribute. We're, uh, you know, we're starting up our own sovereign nation. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you're not going to be an American citizen anymore. Oh, what? we're going to be a whatever they want to call it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, we're going to be taking votes tonight for a new country name and uh, a new flag design. Do you have uh, sewing skills? You could sew up a bunch of flags because we're going to be requiring that everyone take down their American flags and put up our new flags. Well, we'll see. Okay, and if you have any design ideas, you know, for, for a new flag for our country, um, we'll, we'll be taking ideas. Okay. All right, so it's uh, about, I guess, in about an hour and a half, right? We'll see you then. I think so, yep. Okay, Okay, bye. all right, bye. Holy shit, I want to be at this meeting tonight. Hal on the group said, design a flag, have an HOA anthem must be sung at the break of day every day. Edward wants me to convert their money. That seems reasonable. Or I don't know, should I really, really be telling old people to you know, go, go take all their money out of the bank and bring it to the clubhouse tonight? <laughs> That's probably a bad idea. Oh, here's a good one from Ian. Microchipping all homeowners, their pets and their children. Corbin Guy says all residents must share 30% of their yard space for community gardening. It seems silly to call these people just 90 minutes before the meeting to let them know things. Because wouldn't it be covered by the meeting anyway? Whatever, though. Hello? Hello, J Janine? Jeannie, I mean? Yeah, it, it's Jeannie. It's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Uh-huh. And um, I'm calling to just find out if you're going to be at that meeting tonight. Is it at 6 o'clock? Yep, that's the one. And is it at the um, clubhouse? Correct, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let me see what time it is now. It's 4.30. I'm in. But I should be home by then. So. Okay, great. Yeah, we're just. I, I'm just uh, checking this list and everything. We're going to be uh, uh, get, putting microchips in everyone tonight for tracking. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're going to be installing yeah, so mi microchips in everyone's there. necks. Oh, and everyone's next? Yep. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that, but... <laughs> yeah, just for tracking I'll, and control. You know we're becoming a sovereign nation, right? Our neighborhood is? Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, I think so. Yeah, you're not going to be a part of the United States anymore. So, uh, you know, oh. you said you're out of town right now. You're going to need to get a, a visa, like a travel visa, to do that from now on, after tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, we'll be there. I'll bring my husband. Okay. Yep. Definitely bring everyone in the family. Uh, pets included. We have to chip everyone. Oh, okay. Well, we have three dogs. All right. Tracking chips for all of them. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Bring the dogs. Thank you. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. She's fine with the microchipping. Let's see if these next people are. She said the meeting's at 6. I hope I'm not going to make her late. Because the other people were saying it's at 5. Yeah, I probably should have corrected her on that. She's going to miss all the fun tonight. Hello? Hello, Chuck? Yes. It's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association? Yes. Are, are you coming to that meeting tonight? Yes, I am. At 5 o'clock? 5 o'clock? I thought it was 6 o'clock. Oh, no, it's 6 o'clock. I'm, I'm just testing you. I'm making sure you know. Uh, well, then don't test me like that. Okay, I'm just making sure. Um, we're going to be installing microchips in, in all of the citizens tonight. 
you know, tracking, tracking microchips like they do in dogs. Okay. And that's another test too, I'm sure. Oh, no, no, that's, that's for real. Um, you know, we're converting the neighborhood into a sovereign nation. Okay. So uh, just, just, so you're, just so you know about that, uh, bring, bring everyone in your family tonight. We're going to put microchips in their necks. Uh, you know, Steve, that, that's not even funny. I don't even like that. Well, no, it's not a joke. It, it's just for... Uh, just oh, for there's nobody going to put a chip in my neck. No, it's just for location purposes. It's just so we know where everyone is. And okay, if, Steve, I understand. If you, right. if you leave the premises, we have to know about it because, you know, you're basically leaving the country when you do that. What's the point here, Dave? Well, because we're, we're going to be a sovereign nation. And, uh, okay, you, what's your point here? Well, you need a... You know what? That don't even make sense to me. So what are you talking about? You need a visa to leave the neighborhood from now on. We're, we're going to become in our own country. So you're no longer a U.S. citizen. And who, who are you again? Say your name again. This is Steve Dave from the HOA. And where are you located? What is your address? Well, I'm not going to give you my home address. I'm at the clubhouse well, right now. you've got mine. You've got mine. So what are you talking about? Yeah, but You're I'm, not going to. I'm gonna, you know, Steve, I think we've, we've ended this conversation. Thank no, you for calling. No, we're still talking. All right. We've got one that is a fan of microchips and one that is not. And we've confirmed that it is 6 o'clock. I didn't mess up that lady. So the other person's going to be an hour early. What an idiot. The number you are calling is busy or out of service. Please dial again later. All right. That was a weird error message. It's like a Motorola cell phone from the early 90s or something. It's gone out of the coverage area. Hello. Hello, Jerry? Yes. Hey there. It's uh, Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes. And um, are, are you coming to that meeting tonight? I think you've got the wrong person. Oh, you're, you're not here with the, you're not with the HOA? In the neighbor yes. Yeah, there, but the I've, I've had no notice of a meeting tonight. Oh, yeah, there's a meeting tonight at the clubhouse at 6 p.m. No, we will not be coming. <laughs> oh, okay, well, um, but you know that we're converting the neighborhood into a sovereign nation, right? No, I did not know that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just going to let you know we're selling groceries tonight. Um, you're not going to be able to buy them outside of the neighborhood anymore because there's going to be tariffs and stuff. So if you want to bring, you know, cash, we'll convert it into uh, HOA bucks. It's like I'm, new currency. I have and not then, heard anything about this. What What is this? Oh, we're we're converting the entire entire neighborhood into a sovereign nation. You basically won't be a part of the United States anymore. It, our neighborhood is going to be its own little country. You know what? I don't believe you. Why not? Well, really? Why would I kid about this? I have no idea. Okay, well, that doesn't even make any sense. I don't know why you'd think oh, I would goodbye. kid about this. Well, now she's aware of the meeting tonight. You're welcome, Jerry. She's probably going to call up somebody, and they're going to be like, oh, yeah, there is a meeting tonight. She's going to be like, holy shit, so we are going to become a sovereign nation? For a split second, she'll think I wasn't full of shit. She'll think she's no longer a U.S. citizen. Hello? Hello, Claire? Yes. Hey there, it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes. Are, are you coming to the meeting tonight? Uh, let me check my husband here. Okay, it's at 6 p.m. Are you going to go to that meeting? Uh, no, he says he can't. He's, he's got his arm in a sling. He's had some surgery. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, um, just so you know, we're selling groceries tonight. Um, you're not going to be able to buy your groceries from outside of the neighborhood anymore. Now what? Now wait a minute. Because <laughs> um, well, you know, we're becoming a sovereign nation, right? The the entire neighborhood is going to be a sovereign nation. Uh, no, I don't know anything about that. Oh, okay. Well, it's going to be all discussed at the meeting tonight. Um. Okay. We're just. You, okay. But uh, right. you're, yeah. not, you're not going to be able to buy groceries outside of the neighborhood anymore. You have to buy them from us from now on? You want to talk to him, honey? Hold on just a moment. Okay. Uh, could you repeat that statement, please? Uh, well, I don't know which part. We're, we're just, we're the, whole, the whole neighborhood's going to be a sovereign nation. We're going to be apart from the United States. Oh, uh, so, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't believe that. Oh, you came to the phone just to uh, doubt me? Like, why don't you come to the meeting and then you'd know what's going on? 
Well, you know, first of all, that, that's not like just a bunch of crap to me, and I, I don't support that at all. I, I just got out of the hospital, and I don't think I really have the energy and the time to sit there and listen to that kind of nonsense. Okay, well, just because you don't support it, like, doesn't mean it's not happening. Um, you know, we we voted. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's, it's not going to happen. No, not, 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 not as long as not as long as I got the strength to hold a gun in my hand. It's not going to happen. Well, no, you're going to have to submit all your guns to the HOA. We're we're not going to allow guns. Well, that, that, that's not going to happen either. You're going to have to register your weapons with the HOA. That's that's not going to happen. We'll either. let we'll let you have them if you need them. That's not going to happen either. But um, you're not going to be. We're not going to use U.S. currency anymore. So you're going to need to convert your money. You know, this is just starting to be absolute nonsense. It's not nonsense. That's just the way it's going to be from now on. You're oh, that's, gonna, that's just nonsense. You're going you're to have to get used to it. I'm, I'm not going to get used to that. No, not, not as long as this is the United States of America. That's not going to yeah. happen. Well, no, it's not going to be the United States of America. We're going to be our own country here in the neighborhood, like outside of the United States. If you want to leave the neighborhood, you have to get a travel visa. Oh, that's, there, that, that's an absolute crock. I don't even want to waste my time on some, some nonsense like that. Well, I don't know what you mean by waste your time. That's how it's going to be starting tonight. That, that's what the meeting's about tonight. You should be coming to the meeting. And, what what um, time's the meeting? It uh, starts at 6. And um, you're not going to be able to get groceries outside of the neighborhood anymore. That's why we're selling groceries at the clubhouse. You, you have to... I, I just... Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll drag myself over there, but I, that, that's not going to happen in, in, in my lifetime. That's oh, not it's happen. definitely happening. Get, like, come and get your rations tonight. Oh, that, that, that's absolutely ridiculous. We're going to be taking fingerprints and DNA swabs. I, I'm, I'm not, I, I won't, I won't I'll, I'll refuse to participate in that kind of nonsense. No, it, it's fine. It, it's, we're, you're not going to be a part of the United States anymore. It's going to be better. Oh, better, yeah. That's... That, that's absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe you. I can't believe you. Somebody would even be postulating that. I'll, I'll, I'll be over there at six, but I tell you, that's, that's not going to happen in, in my life. Oh, it's definitely happening. You'll see when you get here. Uh, it's going to be a whole new, whole new world for us here. Oh, that's a crock. And, and br- bring your singing voice because we got a new national anthem. You're going to have to sing. Oh yeah, and sure. you're I, to... I, I don't even know know who you are, and I and I. This is Steve. I, I, Steve I, Dave. I, I can't believe. Something. Trying to espouse that kind of crap. This is Steve Dave. I'm I'm like I'm work directly under. So so that that, that doesn't mean anything. She she's she just she's just manager of the clubhouse. Right. Yeah. I work directly under her, and it's more than just a clubhouse now. This is like the state headquarters. This is like. Oh, our, you know, I, I'll, I'll I'll come about that. I, I, I can't believe you're even even going to waste anybody's time with that that bunch of crap. Okay. Well, I I can't believe you're doubting me because it's happening tonight. That's that's when it all begins. Tonight's the inauguration. Oh yeah, that's that's an absolute bunch of nonsense. Okay, well you need to leave the attitude at home if you come to the to the meeting tonight. And and, and you're 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 gonna you're gonna tell me I have to leave my attitude at home? Well, you have kind of an attitude. I don't, I don't know why you don't come over and face face me face to face and try to discuss that crap with me. Well, you can come to the meeting. It's it's like just in another uh, you know a couple hours. Oh, I, 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 I can't! I can't believe you're. Just gonna, you're I'll, I'll be there, but I'm not. You're just. You're, that's just an absolute waste of time. It's not a waste of time. It's it's happening. This is what we're doing. This is the new HOA. We're a sovereign nation. Oh, that's, that, 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 come on! You're you you're just being you're just being stupid. I'm not stupid, sir. Yes, you are, and, sir. You know, I'm I'm going to be a higher up here with the country, with the new country. You can't talk to your superiors like that. You want to bet? Yeah, I'll bet you. No, just, 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 just try and just try and say it to my face and see what happens. Okay, yeah, we'll see. But no, yeah, really, I'm, come I'm on, so we're close. we're a peaceful nation, and you don't need to be like this. Just you know, come with an open mind tonight. Oh, uh, they're, they're, no, nobody can have an open mind with that much crap. That's just absolute bullshit. We're we're going to be more free than than the United States. You know, it's going to be a better system for. Oh, yeah, sure, I'm sure, I'm sure that that that. that, that oh, come on, I I, I I can't believe somebody's that stupid would even try to. Try to convince anybody else something that, that that's ridiculous. Okay, well, you're, you're acting like I'm just making all this up, and I'm not. It, this is. I, I, it sounds to me like, you're just, like, like you need to go to an insane asylum, though it sounds like to me. Because all you're going to do if I get over, all, you, all, you, all you're going to do is, is, is get my blood pressure up, and so, somebody's going to be hurt. No, oh, don't be like that. Come on. We're, we're friendly I people. Don't, don't be like that. I'm just we're, telling you what's going to happen if I come over at that meeting tonight. Well, uh, don't <laughs> come on! Like w- w- it's just going to be a friendly no, meeting. No, no, don't, don't tell me to come on, come on, come on! <laughs> you and I have to report to you. That's just absolute crap. Oh, 
Don't be Whoa. silly. Don't Come be silly. Come on, you absolute stupid. Even, even sit and talk to listen to somebody of that, of that much nonsense. You're being silly. You're just being a silly head. Oh, yeah, I'm being silly. You bet I'm being silly. All right. Well, anyway, I'm tired of talking to you. I'll see you at the meeting tonight. And, I, and I'm tired of talking to you, and I'm not going to waste my time talking to you. If, I, well, if, I, if they start talking that nonsense, I'll just get them and walk out, and I'd like to see somebody, somebody try to stop me. Okay. Well, uh, you're still going to have to obey the, the laws of our new nation. Oh, that's a bad well, even, even if you don't agree, it's just like the United States. You have to obey the rules, like the Rappy McRapperson song. Oh, yeah, sure. Yep. Anyway, um... Oh, he, he hung up. Okay. He sure spent a lot of time telling me he didn't want to waste his time with me. We're almost done with this list. I'm on the, the last name, uh, the letter T now. And I don't know if I mentioned it before. It's uh, Keith Rangel. He suggested the uh, groceries from the HOA-owned general store. Uh, Will suggested the fingerprinting. Tom says you need a passport to get in or out. I think someone else said that too. So you're not special, Tom. Who do you think you are? Uh, David says they have to buy the weight loss book written by the new HOA comptroller, <laughs> Frank Patterson. Uh, Joseph says residents must be spayed or neutered. And Giad says to tell them about the new recruitment clause of the HOA. They need to sign up new people to join, make it like a pyramid scheme. And I still haven't told people I need to make, you know, 30% of their lawns for crops. So I still kind of need to do that. Oh, hey there. Is this Milan? Yes. Hey, uh, it's uh, Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes. Are you coming to that meeting tonight at 6? Yeah, sure are. Oh. Yep, I'm, I'm going to pick up Jack and my neighbor, and we're coming over. Okay, great. Um, uh, I, I just wanted to find out, did you know we're going to be um, building a shed in your backyard? The HOA is? Uh, no. Okay, it's going to be a large shed about the size of your garage. And it's just going to be... Not uh, in my backyard. Yeah, yeah, just in your backyard, like right in the corner. Uh, it'll, it'll hardly even be in the way. It's going to be like a large storage area with a padlock on it. What's this for? Uh, it's going to be for food storage. Um, you, you know... Uh, who, who, what's your name? Uh, Where do you is, live? This is Steve Dave. I live over on... Uh, like way down the street, though. Oh, oh okay. But uh, um, yeah. What's your what address are you? Yeah, I'm I'm down in the one thousand block. But what? Who do you live by? Why? You might know. Oh, I I don't. I live by um Bob Dabalina. But it doesn't matter. I'm just letting you know we're going to be building a large storage shed, uh, a garage basically in your backyard. It's going to be for yeah. storing food for the winter. And uh, they're going to start construction this weekend. What's your what address will this be at? No, it'll be at your address, like in your backyard. No, you're not building in my backyard. Well, it's, it's not me personally. It's the HOA doing it. Actually, now that I think about this, didn't I try this before and nobody believed it? I said we're going to build uh, vertical warehouses, vertical farming warehouses in their backyards because vertical warehouse farming is the future. That's what I should say. We're going to grow crops inside of a garage. Hello? Hello, David? Yes. Hey there, it's it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes, how are you? Pretty good. Are you coming to that meeting tonight? I don't think I'll be able to make it. Oh, okay, that's okay. Um, Hey, I, I just wanted to make sure you knew we're, we're on Monday morning we're going to start constructing a uh, large garage area in your backyard. Like a storage? You are? Yeah, a storage area. In my backyard, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be about the size of your garage. It's going to be a very large uh, warehouse type thing. Interesting. Yep, it's going to be for food storage. It is, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. So just so you know, Monday morning. Hey, I'll be sure and set fire to it. Oh, you better not. You're not allowed to do that. Oh, okay. It's against the <laughs> HOA rules to set our structures on fire. Is that right? Because you'll be you'll be destroying the sovereign nation's um, food supply for the winter. Is that right? Okay. You know we're converting to a sovereign nation, right? I knew that. Yes. Okay. All right. So no setting fires. It's against the law. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Well, I hope you, you I hope you have a nice night being lazy and not coming to our meeting. All right. All right. Thank you. Uh huh. Goodbye. Goodbye. I was just going to give up on that one, and all of a sudden he's like, I'm going to set it on fire. <laughs> I wasn't even going to include that call. I'm like, fuck this. This isn't funny. He doesn't care. Looks like David has a bunch of ideas here, like uh, garbage cans cannot ever be left on the curb, even on trash day. Only Audis are allowed to be parked outdoors. All free speech rights are revoked, so shut up and hang up the phone. I'm going to try that one. And we're on the last page, by the way. I think we're about done. I'm on the W's now. Ian says they should wax and bleach the brown eye for the nights when you're bent on duster. All right. Someone else said there should be a law against butthole winking. I forget who that was. This list is so huge. I can't I, I can't find anything in it. Oh, the number e you have dialed is not in service. Please. Maybe I need to be dialing that new six digit area code. Everyone should learn a silly walk every day and it should change every day each more sillier than the last. That's from Ian. I'm calling from the ministry. But at this point, I think we might be done because I only have a few numbers left and now nobody's answering. The number you have dialed is not in service. All of a sudden, or they're not in service. Still got a few more, though. The number you have dialed is not in service. The number you have dialed is not in service. Please check the number and try again. That's weird. I got a different disconnect message, but it's the exact same exchange. She's got one of those old-fashioned ones. Wonder why. Okay, here's the very last one. The number you have dialed ah, is not in service. Come on. Okay, I've at least got some here on the beginning of the list from the show I did the other day, and they didn't pick up. So I can go over some of these one more time. Maybe I'll just do a few more that didn't pick up the other day. And then after that, this list is dead forever because of tonight's meeting. There's one that's busy. Hello. Hello, Brad. Hello, Brad. Yeah. It's uh, Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Mm hmm And I noticed Barbara's listening in on the line like a creep. Mm hmm I don't know why she's doing that. That's weird. Anyway, I'm calling to let you know that all the free speech rights have been revoked here in the neighborhood. So you need to just shut up and hang up the phone. Both of you. And they both did. And that was boring. What the hell was that? But he was suspicious from the very beginning. So that one doesn't count. Hello. Hello, Karen? Yes? Hey, it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Oh, okay. Are, are you coming to that meeting tonight? Yes, we are. Okay, great. Uh, we'll see you in a couple hours then. Um... I needed to let you know, but you know, because of the sovereign nation thing we're doing, we've decided to rev revoke all of the free speech rights. Well, let me um, pass you over to Gary, okay? Okay. This is Gary. Oh, hey, Gary. I'm, I'm with the HOA. This is Steve Dave. Okay. And she told me that you are coming to the meeting tonight. Yeah. And um, I, I just wanted to let you know in advance, we've decided to revoke all of the free speech rights. So you need to just uh, shut up and hang up the phone. Gary? Steve? Yeah? You, you got quiet. Yeah, I'm just, I'm standing here with my mouth open. <laughs> That's hot. No, um, I'm just saying you, you need to hang up the phone. Hang it up. You hang up that Why phone. Why would I do that? Because I told you to, and I'm with the HOA, and you have to do what we say. Who in the hell are you? I'm Steve Dave. But Steve you, Dave. I've never heard of you. And no. even if I had, it wouldn't make any difference. Well, you have to do what I say still. You need to hang up the phone. I would never do what you said. You better do what I say. You, you hang up that phone right now. Why would I pass? Why would I ever do what you said? Well, why wouldn't you? Well, what's your problem? Why, why are you being so defiant against the HOA? Because I think you're a nut job. I'm not a nut job. I, I've worked here for six years now. I think you're a wacko. You're, you're saying that you never heard of me? I think you're certifiable. I don't know what you're talking. You just hang up the phone. Hang it up. 
Why would I do that? Because I command you to. I command you to hang up the phone. I don't even know who the hell you are. I'm Steve Dave. I've never heard of Steve Day before. I don't care if you haven't heard of me. I'm commanding you to hang up that phone. You have no more rights Stick to... It. What? Stick it in your ear. Stick what in my ear? That doesn't make sense. Anything you want. Your elbow, for what I care. I, I can't do that. I'm like, it wouldn't reach up there. You're far. incapable. You can't stick your elbow in your ear? No. That, why would I want to? That's stupid. I don't I, know. You're, well, you're the one that's, inside that ear anyway. You're the one that's certifiable. <laughs> Look, just hang up the phone. Hang it up. No, I think I'll leave it up and on forever. No, you better not. What happens if I don't? Well, we, we run the phone company now, and you're getting charged international rates for this call. Good. Like, it, it's all under the HOA's command now. I see. Okay. So, uh, you go ahead. It's $15 a minute. Good. Sounds like a bargain. We've been on for three minutes now. I haven't had such a good laugh in a long time. But you're not even laughing. You're, you're just standing there with your mouth agape. No, I am smiling. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not. I just want you to hang up the phone. Oh, well, I hope you're not smiling. I hope you're, I hope you're in some kind of anguish. That would be great. I I'd love that. Well, you're the one that sounds like a nut job. You're certifiable. You want me to be in pain? <laughs> you want me to stick things in my ear? Do you, do you think because somebody named Steve Dye tells me that I'm certifiable, I'm supposed to believe that? I don't think so. Well, you said it to me? I did. Yep. Because you're the one that called me. Well, what does it matter? Like... Is there, is there a rule that says the person that calls can't be certifiable? No, you could be certifiable. You yeah. might be certifiable. I doubt it. Well, anyway, you need to hang up that phone. No, it ain't going to happen. Just hang it up. No. You, well, you have to hang up by 6 because that's when the meeting is. Well, I might miss the meeting. But you're not allowed to miss the meeting. Tonight's meeting is very important. It's about the sovereign nation that we're setting up. Well, you say it's important. Just because you say it, that doesn't mean anything. Well, tonight might be the most important meeting we ever have. I doubt it. No, it is, because we're starting up, the, the neighborhood's going to be a sovereign nation. You're not going to be a U.S. citizen anymore after tonight? Not bloody likely. And you have to be uh, sworn in and sing the brand new national anthem. Well, do, we have to have a, do we have to have a brand on our forehead? Uh, no, but we're going to send you all home with the new flag. And you have to put that up. Oh, and, a new flag. Yeah, Great idea. And you have to throw your old flag in the trash. Jeez. Oh, How would that be? Well, no, that's what's happening tonight. I see. You're going to have to sing the brand new national anthem every morning when you uh -huh. wake up. Well, um, tell you what, Steve. I, I've got better things to do here. I'm just going to set this phone aside. Oh, no, you have to and, hang it up. Hang it up. No, no. No, no I ain't no, going to do that. You hang it up. Um, i got better things to do, you, and so uh, nice talking to God you. God damn it, Gary. And, uh, yeah, bye now. No, no hang, hang it up. Hang up the phone. Hang it up, Gary. Or at least put it somewhere where I can hear you guys talk about me. Oh, he shut the door. Oh, maybe not. Gary? Gary, hang up! Gary? said she wants to put a trace on it. I wish it wasn't buzzing. Gary is such a dick. Hi, Gary. Are you back?
He's telling her to be quiet because I'm still here. Are you recording me, Gary? I don't give you permission to record. That's illegal. Gary? You better not blow a whistle in the phone, Gary. That would hurt my ears. Please don't do that. All right, I'm hanging up. Gary wins. He sure showed me not hanging up that phone. You know it's a really good show if I lose a round of hang up the phone. By the way, thank you, Gordon Bombay, for that directory list. He sent me a couple of them, and I used a couple of them. And there's a couple more in here. Maybe I'll use those. And I am bookmarking this website for this HOA because in another month or two, I want to look at those meeting minutes and just see if they talk about the sovereign nation thing. Thanks for the ideas, everyone on Facebook. I'm going to put a link to the Facebook post in the show notes of this show on snowplowshow.com. And you can add your own ideas for a sovereign nation neighborhood because I definitely need to do this again. And I will someday. All right, it's Cody. Hey, Cody. Uh, we haven't had a snowplow show since last year. WTF, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Stay together. Sorry. Hang up the phone and get to work. You hang up the phone. Bye. There, he hung it up. Yeah, I know. I was planning on doing another snowplow show either Saturday or Sunday. So I'd have my two for the week done last week. And then I started being sick on Saturday. And then for the next five days, I'm telling you guys, I was really sick. I, I was just like laying on the couch for five days. So instead of doing shows, I was just watching a bunch of television and taking a lot of naps. And now I need to do another show this week, right? I mean, really, I should be doing two more shows this week to make up for last week. At least I got that hobo sewed done the other day. The couch-based hobo sewed. So I don't know if I'm going to get another one done this week. I'm going to do my best. Tomorrow's Friday. I should be able to, right? Friday or Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to get back on track. I promise. I'm sorry, Cody. Hey, Brad. This is Skitty McLovin. Hey. I just uh, subscribed to you on Patreon. Yay. Um, that episode I just got to listen to, 522 of the Snowplow Show. You hated it, right? The guy says, you hated how it. big boy are you? Uh, that came from Roy D. Mercer. Yeah. Uh, he's a prank phone caller also out of uh, Oklahoma. He does uh, own a radio show. Yeah, I've heard just of that. Just wanted to let you know. Oh, cactus. Hey. Cactus. Yeah, I've I've heard that phrase before, but he was saying it like an insult. Maybe he was saying it because he knew it was a prank call. I don't think I even considered that. I just figured that was that guy doing a witty insult at me. Bro, I'm really about to get your pickle chin, that boy. Hey, go ahead, call me, yeah, that boy. Oh, here, that boy, oh, dirt, that boy, stink, that yeah, boy. Okay, thanks for that one. That was the very last voicemail of 2018. But I still have a bunch more from earlier in 2018. Let's listen to those. This is Dr. Tom Servo. Hey. To, to inform you, that episode of the Snowplow Show 522 mm -hmm. is cursed. It has killed the great Cody No Name. Oh, shit. We must put a stop to this curse. What a bummer. It killed him. Alice Jones is writing up a story right now. Okay. Rest in peace, Cody No Name. All right. Thanks. Dr. Tom Servo, whatever the fuck all that was. Man, there's a lot of voicemails in here. I don't know if I'm going to play all of these today. If I save them, that'll encourage me to do another show, like tomorrow or something. Hey, Maybe. Brad, I was just wondering if you could do some more since it dead calls. It's been a little bit, and okay. I appreciate some of those. Thanks, I sir. still have a huge list sent in by somebody of, uh, you know, dojos or whatever you call them in shopping centers where I can be Sensei Doug and say, hey, you know, stop doing the thing, LOL. So I will get to those eventually, one of these days, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, beep. Uh, hey, Brad. Uh, hey, Corbin. Um, what the fuck did you do to PLA.org? Well, you see... The, the .org site, I don't I care I was about sitting on the couch for five days, and I wanted to be a little bit useful, so I redesigned the site. Dot com you don't like it? Else, whatever. What's wrong with it? Just one website's good enough. And yeah. Yeah. .org. And now you've got things scrolling, and it's all dark and black, like you're in a bad mood, yeah. and you can't fucking find shit. I was in a dark place, and, and, you know? 
it scrolls weird. And Why is it scroll weird? Fit the screen. Hey, what I'm on the mobile. About? I'm on a uh, an Android. Okay, it's probably my fault. My fault. No, I looked I on my Android. Desktop computer, like other people. Checking do right now. Yeah. yeah. I but thought it looks seriously looked... like what the fuck did you do to the website? It looks like shit. Jeez. It fuck it, it's a fucking nightmare to try to transverse anything and fucking read stuff and what are you talking I have about to put it? on my fucking glasses. Yeah. It looks fuck f- you. fine. What are you talking oh, about? Yeah. I'm like on my Android right now. I'm looking at the site. Everything's a nice big print for old people. And it just has, like, all the list of episodes, just like the good old days. Is it just because I reversed the black and white? Is that what it is? Fuck everybody else listening. But, hey, guess what? Uh, sign up for the Patreon. You'll, you'll you get used it. to it. Sign up for the Patreon, you fuckers. Looks fine. You know, come on, support Jeez. this Ill- mental illness. Please, everybody, in the, in the comments, tell me, does the new phonelosers.org look like shit? Is Corbin Guy a fucking idiot or not? Yay. Vote, vote for one, one of us. Okay, um... Talk to you later. Fuck you. Bye. All right. Bye, Corbin guy. And even though you're being a dick to me, I'd like to mention to everyone that I saw a post on Corbin's Facebook today that he's starting up a brand new podcast or something. I don't know. He's doing YouTube stuff. He wants you to send things to him in the mail and he's going to open it up like anything you want. Just just like, you know, take a garbage bag out of your kitchen and mail that to him. I think that's what he means. And he's going to open it on camera. But he also wants you to send him uh, MP3s of songs that you like and clips and stuff like that. I'm considering it. I'm going to link to the post on his Facebook. I tuned into his Mixler the other day, and it was pretty great. He ran his vacuum cleaner for us. I listened to him vacuum his living room for a good five or six minutes. It was very soothing. And when he turned off the vacuum cleaner, you could hear daytime television playing. It reminded me of the good old days. So if you want to hear more Corbin Guy instead of just the voicemails on this show, that's the perfect place to do it. The link that I just put into the show notes. Go there and you can get links to his YouTube. I haven't even been to his YouTube. I don't know what's on there. Oh, he hasn't posted on YouTube in like two years now. But one of his last videos is called Throbbing Meat Chuck. So, okay. Looks like a great channel, Corbin Guy. I hate the layout of your YouTube page. It's all dark. It's hard to read. The font's all shitty. It's fucking bullshit. Hey, Brad. It's Beckley. Hey, so, Beckley. I was just walking through my neighbor's yard here tonight thinking, mm-hmm. and it occurred to me. That Watch out for that dog poop. Don't step in any dog poop. You're working just off the Patreon and donations, mm-hmm. and you still have to pay your fines. Then you're paying the fines for making prank calls with money that you make from making prank calls. Yep. Kind of counterintuitive. Yep. What were they thinking? On their part. We'll, All right, love you, bye. we'll see how long it takes for them to come to their senses on this one. Alien fetus here with breaking news. Oh, All shit. across the country, there have been countless reports of malicious defecations on thousands of dollars worth of personal property. Some even go as far as pinching a loaf at the bottom of playground slides and on the hoods of door handles of cars. Examples include the mad pooper of Colorado Springs, Still unidentified, even though she was caught on CCTV jogging up to a victim's home to defecate on various properties. Proctor and Gamble have offered her a lifetime supply of toilet paper if she will turn herself in. Then, there's the Akron Serial Pooper, active and at large since 2015, despite clear video of his face scrunched up in concentration. The breaking news music ran out, sorry. dropping a deuce on a hood ornament late night. Yep. That's These are terrible. the two sphincter tightening examples of a smelly, nightmarish trend sweeping the nation. As of yet, few have been brought to justice, and police are turning to the public for tips on okay. who would be perpetrators. Okay, thanks for the voicemail. That was a good one. It related directly to things from the show, I guess. Yeah, this is crazy, dude. Again, I want to thank you for that email that I, that I got. What? Also, don't know what to do. What? Something about an email? I actually love all your friends' shows, too. Oh, I, thanks. I was just listening to one of your old shows where this guy called and uh, made fun of all your friends, which I found hilarious, by the way. Yeah. I've been sharing that, your show around great. at my school, and um, everyone loves it except for one person. Just let you know, who, they say you're an ugly weirdo. It's true. I but agree with them. I joined your Discord server at last. And Yay. 
Isn't that exciting? Crazy I've dude. I've raised you with my presence. I don't see crazy dude. Because you gave me the, the chat roll. Right now. Also, don't tell me how long to keep my voicemails. Okay, alright. And you have a Pennsylvania area code. Yes, I do. Alright, great voicemail. That voicemail was all over the place. You need to cut back on the marijuanas. Uh, uh, sorry, what was, what was your name again? Oh, hey, it's Lenny. Hey, Lenny. What you doing, Lenny? Hello? Hello, are you there? Yep, I'm here, Lenny. Alright, someone's making Lenny call me. Thanks for that. Hey, Brad. It's Pepe. Hey, Long Pepe. Long time no voicemail. Yep. I want to thank you for all the great shows this year. You're welcome. And uh, I'm sorry I haven't donated recently. I kind of been spending all my money on booze and weed and all that. Yep. But that's more important. I want to tell you, go fuck yourself and get raped, you know. Wow. Have, have a very nice year. Wow. Okay. And uh, thanks. thanks for everything. Thank you. All right. Hey, Brad. It's not not Brad. Hey there. Hey, you have to um do some brain calls with the uh Christmas tree. Tell uh, I saw that post you had on Facebook with the Christmas tree in the toilet. You gotta call people and tell them that uh your Christmas tree was flushed down the toilet before uh, Christmas gets over with. Otherwise, it'll make no sense. Ah, well, no. Why? Like, why? Why would it not make sense? It makes sense to do that right now. In fact, I'm going to write that down because that's that sounds like a good hobo soda idea. Maybe I can do that one tomorrow. Call up landlords and tell them that uh, my toilet's clogged up because I'm trying to flush my Christmas tree down the toilet. I cut it up into tiny pieces. What a great idea. Thanks, Not Not Brad. Yo, Brad. Hey. What's up, man? Lion 227. Give okay. me a call. Hey, um, I was watching that, uh, I'm watching it right now, the pirate treasure hunting video. Episode 522. Yep. Um, there was a guy, you called a guy and it was about his phone number being like 666 at the, at the end. And you guys, he was like, what are you talking about? You guys got into like a back and forth. Towards the end of the call, he, he says something like, how big a boy are you? Oh, here and, we go uh, again. At lunch or something like that. Yep. That comes from, I'm surprised you don't know this. That, that comes from another prank call. Yeah. Uh, a show called, well, it's not a show. It's like these radio guys. Uh, it's I called know. Boy D. Mercer. Um, I think they're from like Oklahoma. The one guy died, but wow. the, the pranks are online. Everybody knows they're from Oklahoma. I didn't know that. Right. And that's something that they would do. The guy would call up. He's a very sick uh southern accent I and he'll be like well how big a boy are you you need the back of lunch and all this shit so i think the guy heard your name being roy and maybe thought it was like you know you had something oh, to do okay. with that but yeah that's where that comes from man so check it out it's called that makes sense he figured out it was a prank right at the very end roy okay the mercer it's funny but it's like wacky morning radio shit so. yeah i know i remember right. i never liked it too much myself but i'm familiar with the pranks i've heard them bro Sorry, I haven't called you in a while. But I know the phrase. I was doing shit, uh, personal shit at night. Yeah. Cab driving, this and that. So okay. I'll talk to you later. Peace. All right. Bye. So, yeah, I guess that makes sense. The guy figured out it was a prank right at the end. I can't remember what happened on that prank exactly. I just remember at first he was really pissed about the 666 thing, but maybe he calmed down near the end and threw some prank call references at me. I still have a few more voicemails here. I'm just going to skip them. You know, I've got to do another show this week. I may as well just save them for the next show. I will do either another Hobo Soda or another Snowplow show. Hopefully another Snowplow show by at least Sunday. Hopefully tomorrow or Saturday. But thank you everyone for hanging in there and, you know, being patient with me for being sick all week. It's been a really boring and unproductive week for me. I watched so much television and just sat on the couch and listened to Corbin vacuum his carpets. What a boring week it's been. Thank you, ICU and Tokus Pocus, Fun Society Arcade, Jason B. and Carol Gertie 666 for supporting this episode of the Snowplow Show. Their support is appreciated, and if you'd like to support the show, you can do that at patreon.com slash phonelosers or phonelosers.com slash cactus. I've been working on the website lately. I've got it all set up again. I've posted the last two hobo sodes on phonelosers.org. If you want to go that route instead of Patreon, I'm giving up on ditching the website. I'm just going to keep it forever. I've been looking at alternatives lately because everyone's wanting to quit Patreon for political reasons since Patreon's kicking everyone off. And Patreon, they're probably going to kick me off one of these days. It's only a matter of time. So I may as well just stick with the alternative I was using before Patreon, right? So phonelosers.com slash cactus or on Patreon dot com slash phone losers thanks for listening everyone maybe tomorrow i'll do a show about flushing my christmas tree down the toilet you know maybe i could say that the christmas tree wouldn't fit down the toilet 
So I just removed the toilet from the floor and shoved the the trunk of the tree straight down the hole in the floor. And it worked for a while, but I don't know. Okay, anyway, yeah, bye everyone, bye. So to live in this neighborhood, you have to not be a citizen of the United States?